Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and your daily updates, of course, on Gito. Um, we have some thing, uh, things to talk about. Yesterday, we uh, well, yesterday the markets in the morning were very bullish. Right now, the markets are different. All right, uh, so there is uh, definitely much to talk about. Um, we'll do a full update. I'll tell you whether you should buy Gito right now, or at least I'll tell you whether I'm going to buy. Um, which might be valuable to you, might not be valuable to you. That's completely up to you, all right? But at least I'll, I'll try to give you all the information that you need. In general, Gito has been, uh, well, the markets have been uh, a little bit stronger. And that's mostly because of Bitcoin's bullish momentum, all right? Yesterday uh, evening, we heard that the interest rates are probably uh, peaked, all right? So that they will no longer go up, which is bullish because uh, high interest rates are bad for asset markets like stocks but also crypto in in a way uh, less than stocks but in a way it still is uh, so that caused bitcoin to be bullish and that also causes stronger cryptos uh, in the market to be bullish as well well then we start talking about stronger cryptos and you end up with solana pretty quickly injective too but solana as well so solana is quite strong uh, solana and bitcoin influence gito and that's why gito is strong right now uh, long term, and I've, I've talked about this before quite, quite often, but long term, I still expect Gito to, to be bullish as well. I mean, it's a new crypto. It's very hyped up. It's just the case that most of these new cryptos just rally at some point. Uh, all right. Especially in these market circumstances. So, uh, yeah. So now the big question is, is will Gito rally now or not? Uh, and it's a, it's a difficult it's a difficult question, all right? Because first of all, I have not bought Gito yet, uh, but I am watching it very, very closely because we're uh, getting close to a level where I bought last time around. And there's basically two, two important levels, all right? Um, it used to be $3, but we have already broken above that, at least on the 30-minute time frame, I think on the one hour as well. Um, but now you have these two levels, 3.11 or 3.12, and then 3.25. Uh, the 3.25 is very strong. It's a 0.382 FIP. But historically, if you if you look at this level here at 3.1, that has been the strongest resistance level. All right. So usually, uh, if you break above that, usually we would be bullish. All right. Not always, but usually it's it's the truth. So we're we're what we're waiting for is a bullish breakout. Um, what I don't know is what level we need to break above. In general, we have to then uh, talk about Gito and whether it's bullish right now. And uh, can I please uh, G GTO? Yeah. And if you look at that, I mean, you'll see that the open interest has never really decreased and it's increasing rapidly right now. So honestly, I mean, given the fact that we're seeing a lot of strength right now, right now uh, unless Bitcoin crashes, which is a possibility, but I don't expect it, unless it crashes, the markets are strong. Uh, Gito should be strong. The open interest is increasing rapidly. It's at $72 million right now, which is the highest it has ever. Well, not ever, but the, the, it's nearing the, the, the all-time highs in open interest. So I have to be bullish on Gito, all right? The numbers are telling me to be bullish on Gito. So, so why would I not be then, right? Um, so yeah, I do expect a bullish breakout for Gito. I mean, in the end, personally, I'm probably waiting uh for like 3.3 to break which is very long you could also enter after a 3.12 break but that's way more risky and i'm in some uh, some other positions already as well so I, I just don't think it's it's worth it right uh, you have to make that decision for yourself but what i expect for now uh is that gito will break above 3.12 will eventually uh, find resistance at 3.3 3.25 eventually will also break above that and my first major price target would probably be like 3.65 3.75 that's what i think is most likely right now now like i said we do need to get confirmation i mean if if gito j does not break above 3.12 nothing's happening all right so that still has to happen because if gito right now finds resistance at 3.12 unlikely but possible and drops below three dollars then we're just dropping all the way down to 2.7 again and nothing has happened and nothing will happen uh, at least not in the short term so keep an eye on that all right just just uh, be be uh, be wary about that but uh, now at least you know what to focus on all right so uh, those are my thoughts and if you do have any questions let me know down in the comments there you can also find more info on my premium group and signal group for if you perhaps want to know when i'm entering exa exactly in which uh, with which sl stop loss um, but for now, that's all. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.